Members of the 10th parliament may have flattered with a clause that would have seen them accorded a state funeral if the bill containing it had been signed into law by the president. But instead, they got more than they bargained for, a mock state cremation. <laughs> dubbed the ballot revolution. It began with a funeral service for the members of parliament at Uhuru Park's Freedom Corner. 221 makeshift coffins in honor of each of the immediate former members of parliament, symbolic of a golden handshake to the end of an era of impunity, according to the civil society. <laughs> The activists would then take to the streets with the MP's farewell token in tow and the mock undertaker leading the way to the venue of the state funeral. They condemned most attempts by MPs to reward themselves hefty gratuity payments of 9.3 million shillings each as the 10th parliament wound up its sittings. The MPs had also awarded President Mwai Kibaki a retirement package that handed him a lump sum payment of 25 million shillings and monthly stipend of another 1 million shillings, among other benefits. The demonstrators chose to reward the MPs' actions by setting on fire the coffins, what to them signified the death of bad leadership. Our barriers through the ballot. They sought to remind leaders that Kenyans are intent on having a peaceful ballot revolution. And you know fire is a purifier, because normally back, in, back at home, when you want to clear the field, you burn it, then you plant. This is what we're doing. We're going to burn it down, then you start afresh with new leaders. They have banned years of impunity, charging members of the 10th parliament with corruption and calling for change ahead of the elections. Salim Bilu, Citizen, live at 9.